Local 10, South Florida's most watched newscast at 11. With Election Day just a week away now, there's renewed focus on the power of young voters. But what about those too young to vote? As Local 10's Julie Summers reports tonight, there's a growing effort across the country and right here in South Florida to lower the voting age below 18. Good. If these votes counted, John McCain would be your next president. Hold them likewise, please. But the ballots of these teens at St. Andrews School in Boca Raton in a mock election do not matter. And across the country, thousands of 16 and 17 year olds are working to change that. But don't just say no way because I'm 17. The issue was even featured recently in the popular ABC hit TV show Boston Legal. I'm old enough to be a parent, I'm old enough to get an abortion, and that is a decision far more complicated and difficult than making a check on a ballot box. Other countries have lowered the voting age below 18. Brazil, Austria, both have gone to a lower voting age. Uh, Israel has a voting age of 18 for national elections, but a lower voting age for some local elections. And what's sort of an interesting quirk in Iran, the voting age used to be 15, but the powers to be were not happy with uh, the way an election turned out, and they increased it to 18. Here in America, emotional history to the debate. Back in the era of the Vietnam War, young people successfully pushed to lower the voting age from 21 to 18, arguing effectively that if they were allowed to die for their country, they should be allowed to vote. Southeast Florida is a nonpartisan group. That same spirit is motivating these teenagers. They say they're allowed to drive when they're 16, and they have to pay tax dollars on any earnings from a summer job, for example. So why, they argue, shouldn't they be allowed to vote on how those tax dollars are spent? Well, the taxation without representation thing is huge. It's $10 billion in sales tax alone every year and tons of income tax as well that we have to pay. We want the right to vote. Nadell's a member of the National election. Youth well, Rights Association. 8,000 members difference. across we the country the right and 200 here We're in South Florida. Two minus. Good. Students working to solve chemistry equations in the classroom and the chemistry of change beyond. But it's clear they have a lot of convincing to do. 16 and 17, no, I have teenage grandsons. I don't think they'd be mature enough before 18. I still think there's a maturity level that they have to reach at 18 that they don't have necessarily at 17 or 16. Hold them up, pop them in. For Local 10 News, this is Julie Summers. To reduce the voting age here in Florida, the teens would have to drum up enough support for a constitutional amendment.